Join the DZone community and get the full member experience. Join for free if you want to benchmark your code, the Java Micro Benchmark Harness is the tool of choice. In our example, we will use the Refill Rate Limiter project. Since Refill Rate Limiter uses Gradle, we will use the following plugin for Gradle, Plugins, ID'd Me, Shampoo, Gradle, JMH a version of 0, 5, 3 inch. We will place the benchmark in the JMH slash Java slash IO slash GitHub slash Resilience 4J slash Rattelimiter folder. Our benchmark should look like this, package IO, GitHub, Resilience 4J, Rattelimiter, import IO, GitHub, Resilience 4J, Rattelimiter, internal, refill rate limiter, import org, open JDK, JMH, annotations, asterisk, import org, open JDK, JMH, infra, black hole, import org, open JDK, JMH, profile, GC Profiler, Import Org, Open JDK, JMH, Runner, Runner, Import Org, Open JDK, JMH, Runner, Runner Exception, Import Org, Open JDK, JMH, Runner, Options, Options, Import Org, Open JDK, JMH, Runner Options Options Builder M By using Benchmark Scope, all of the threads used on the Benchmark Scope will share the same object. We do so because we want to test how Refill Rate Limiter performs in a multi-threaded scenario. We would like our results to be reported in microseconds, therefore we shall use the Output Time Unit. At Output Time Unit, Time Unit Microseconds, on JMH, we have various benchmark modes, depending on what we want to measure. Throughput is when we want to measure the number of operations per unit of time. Average time is when we want to measure the average time per operation. Sample time is when we want to sample the time for each operation including min, max time, and more than just the average. Single shot time is when we want to measure the time for a single operation. This can help when we want to identify how the operation will do on a cold start. We also have the option to measure all of the above. Those options configured on the class level will apply to the benchmark methods we will add. Let's also examine how the benchmark will run. We will specify the number of threads by using the at threads annotation. At threads, value equals thread underscore count. Also, we want to warm up before we run the actual benchmarks. This way our code will be initialized, online optimizations will take place, and our runtime will adapt to the conditions before we run the benchmarks. At warmup, iterations equals warmup underscore count. Using at fork we will instruct how many times the benchmark will run. At fork, value equals fork underscore count, then we need to specify the number of iterations we want to measure at measurement. Iterations equals iteration underscore count, we can start our test by just using, the results will be saved in a file. 2022-10-28T09-08-44 522 plus 0100, quiet, system. Out, benchmark result is saved to slash path slash refill rate limiter slash build slash reports slash jmh slash results. TXT. Let's examine the results. Benchmark mode CNT score error units rate limiter benchmark. Refill permission THRPT 2013. 
594 plus or minus 0. 217 ops slash us rate limiter benchmark. Refill permission app 20 0. 147 plus or minus 0. 002 us slash operate limiter benchmark. Refill permission sample 10754426200. 711 plus or minus 0. 025 us slash operate limiter benchmark. Refill permission or refill. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.